Dr. Jaffe, uh, we have a question from a healthcare provider and um, patients are watching uh, online social media videos about magnetic meat and magnetic meat test. And uh, while the USDA has said certain things about this and there's really, um, you know, there's refuted it, but there's still a concern is there um, about nanoparticles or prions being fed to animals or injected into the meat. Is this true? Well, some of it we know the answer to and some of it we need more information. In regard to prions, and you can call them prions, but uh, the people that work with them prefer to call them prions. They are self-replicating protein. They are absolutely banned. They are absolutely tested all over the world. It used to be called mad cow, spongiform encephalitis. There are a variety of names. And Giuseppe Lignami, who worked with the Nobel laureate who identified prions, assured me 100% that there would be no industry with regard to lamb, meat, you know, what we would call beef and pork without testing. Too dangerous for the animals, too risky for the owner, and surely bad for people. So are they injecting prions? Are they letting prions get into the meat supply anywhere in the world? No. Now, <clears throat> please know the source. As those of you who have listened to me before, you know that if I'm going to eat high on the food chain, if I'm going to eat something that's been eating something else, I want it to have eaten grass and whatever it is that it is used to eating. I don't want grains. I don't want it in a lot. I don't want it packed together for periods of time. I want a humanely rendered um, meat. I don't eat a lot of meat. I'm an alkaline person, but you can be alkaline and still enjoy a lamb chop from time to time. Prion free for sure. Now, <clears throat> a separate issue, separate issue, has to do with these new mRNA vaccines. These vaccines are <clears throat> composed of nanoparticles, tiny particles that the body does not digest. And that's how the vaccine in part works. It's foreign to the body and the body sees it as foreign and mounts hopefully a healthy protective T cell, T as in Tom, T cell response. Antibodies turn out to be unimportant and distracting. T cell response is important. Now, I have seen videos of colleagues who hold a spoon to their forehead or to their chest, and it kind of sticks. Now, first of all, I'm pretty sure, this is not my field, but I'm pretty sure the cutlery they are using are not magnetic. You usually don't use steel, which is magnetic, to make cutlery. What I have seen are well-intended people who are trying to illustrate something that is actually not, well, it's not what they say it is. Can I get a spoon to stick to my forehead or can I get a thing to stick to my cheek? Sure, I know how to do that. I'm sure most magicians know how to do that. Do not confuse that with science. Now, are there nanoparticles? Yes. Are these nanoparticles different than any vaccine we've ever seen before, than any medicine that's ever been approved before? And yes, this one was approved on an emergency basis because. It was approved on an emergency basis. If you haven't, if you've missed the pandemic of the last year, we'll talk again. With that said, there are several basic research reports that in some people, at least in some people, these particles, these tiny little non-digested particles, end up concentrating in are hormonally active centers, the pituitary and other brain centers, 
the thyroid, the adrenals, the ovaries or testes, maybe the gut nervous system. And this is of concern. We don't know what it means. We know they're foreign. We know they're accumulating. We know they are concentrating in what we would call the hormonally active centers. More studies on that are needed. In the meantime, caution is urged. And what does caution mean? Caution means keep your immune system uh, robust and tolerant, keep your neurohormonal system <clears throat> active and engaged, do the things that enhance the quality of your life. More touch, more gardening, more water, more swimming, more walking, more relaxing. And if you're tired, it's okay to take a nap because fear makes everything worse. So clearly the answer to prions is we know enough now to test for them and prevent them. In fact, we even know how to turn bad prions into good prions. And I have given a talk about that. I urge people to take a look at that link in case they wanna do a deeper dive on what are these prions and what do they mean? With regard to magnetic particles being injected, into people or animals. I've seen it said on social media, but a lot of the things said on social media are said, um, I, 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 my, my impression is they're said with good intention by people who don't have a technical enough knowledge to really know the subject that they're talking about. And then you get to people who know the subject that they're talking about and they talk for a very long period of time and you're usually, not that enlightened by the end of it because it's complicated. And so as someone who works in the area of health promotion, of maintaining, restoring, and enhancing our ability to live well and long in the 21st century, in the presence of all of these things, all of these potentially harmful things are around us. Yes, we're marinating in a sea of potential problems and therefore we need to be proactive about ourselves. And that gets back to what you eat and drink, what you think and do. So eat what you can digest, assimilate and eliminate without immune birth. Stay well hydrated. Spend, if you're inclined to be concerned or worry, my prescription is concentrate all of your worrying into five or 10 minutes a day. Become a champion warrior for five or 10 minutes. It doesn't help the rest of the day to worry about things that haven't happened, may or may not happen, and over which probably, probably, you might have no control. So if there's something you can do something about, do something about it. There's something you can't do something about, acknowledge it, move on, witness it. Do not fight with it. And certainly don't fear it. So, Let's keep discussing all of these subjects as they come up. It's, it's a pleasure when someone has one of these technical questions and is willing to give me more than 30 seconds to provide um, a, a frame of reference to understand the answer and then what the answer is. And the answer is follow our nature, nature's alkaline way, live well and long.